Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proofer Declarations team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin dialog material using boilerplate. This is our part 8. Inside this video session guys, we are going to fix our issue that is duplicate menu item of plugin. In the last two videos like part 6 and part 7, inside those videos actually we had seen about how can we create menus and sub menus of plugin. So I strongly suggest you before watching this video, please go through those videos and watch those videos first. So back to browser. Now inside this, this is the menu item which we have created and inside this menu, these are sub menus we have created. Now here we can see that this is our book management tool is the menu label. But inside these sub menus, again we are getting the same label that is book management tool as the menu label. So we want to remove these duplicate names from this sub menus list. So as to clearly understand, let's click on post. Now inside this post, this is menu item and inside this post, we have four sub menus called all post, add new, categories and the tags. So when we click on the post, so automatically this menu item is clicked and also about the first sub menu item automatically get clicked. Again, if you go on the pages, inside these pages we have two sub menus called all pages and add new. So when we click on pages, we are getting like this menu item is clicked and also this is the sub menu automatically get clicked. So what we want? We want that when we click on this menu item called book management tool, then we want to automatically click on this dashboard. And also we have to remove this duplicate name or the duplicate label what we have as a menu item. So back to editor. Now inside this, if I scroll down and here are the codes actually we are using to create our menu and sub menus. So the easy way to remove what we have seen or what we are trying to do is to make the menu slug and the first sub menu slug should be same. So if we go to the menu settings, now inside this menu settings, the first slug that we have used for this menu called book management tool. So again back to browser, click on this menu. Now here is the slug called book management tool. And if we click on this dashboard, now here we have the slug called book management dashboard. So firstly, we need to make our menu slug and the sub menu slug should be same. So back to editor, copy this slug, go to this dashboard and here is the menu for the dashboard, sub menu, go to its slug and here is the slug. So we are going to replace the slug with the menu slug. And also, I am going to make the same callback function for this menu as well as for the second sub menu. So here is the callback function. So copy that and pasting it here. All we have done now, we have to do only two things. First, the slug should be same and the callback function of this menu as well as for the first sub menu should be same. So save all these changes back to Chrome browser, go to dashboard and if we hover on this book management tool plugin then we can see that we are getting the sub menu like dashboard, create book and list book. And also if we click on this menu item then welcome to plugin menu and also we can see that the first sub menu is highlighted. It means that it is also active state. So now these two means our menu item as well as first sub menu item their slug is same and also their callback function is same. So this is the way to fix our issue. What we have seen in the last video is of duplicate label name of menu item as well as uh, inside our sub menu items. So in the next videos guys we will see that how can we create dynamic tables, dynamic page as well as the layout for these menus like dashboard, create book as well as list book. Right now inside these sub menus only we have a simple statement what we are seeing inside this screen. In upcoming videos 
we will make some HTML layout, some form, some tables, which basically store some data. Also, we will operate with WPDB data table, sorry, WPDB global object, which is used to interact with our database tables. So, inside this video session, guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So, for this video session, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.